Today we are diving Cook Island. Cook Island is just 15 minutes off of the Tweed River on the Gold Coast of Australia. So we're not diving the country Cook Island, just a little marine reserve that used to be known as Turtle Island, which will become very apparent for the reason why throughout this video. Cook Island is chock-a-block with marine life. We were lucky enough to do two dives on it, one on the northern side and one on the southern side of the island. Now we started off strong with a lot of Wabigon sharks. Wabigon sharks get their name because of the beard like that they've got around the edge of their mouth. They are a type of carpet shark and they're the only shark that if you grab its tail, it can turn around and bite your arm. I think I've said that in a previous video, but little fun fact for anyone who has not watched those videos. Now we did also see a bunch of nudibranchs. Mark and I are not the biggest nudibranch fans in the world, but for people that are, we popped in a little clip of one of those guys as well. Now here come all the turtles. They just cruise around the island and they don't even care that you're around them. They'll cruise straight by you, close enough to touch, though we do not touch the turtles. And something I've recently learned is that the turtle's shell is actually made of bone, so they can feel every single touch on that shell. They're not living inside of their shell, they're actually part of their shell. So that was something I learned recently and made it very apparent why we don't touch turtles, even though they look so touchable and they come so close to you, you make sure that you stay a fair distance away. Now the water for these two dives was about 18 degrees Celsius. So you can see myself and Mark are wrapped up nice and warm. I'm in an eight mil, he's in a dry suit. What a wimp he is. And we are wrapped up in hoods and gloves and all sorts of stuff so that we could stay underwater for as long as possible, trying to get loads and loads of footage for you guys on this dive. Now we can see this Wabigon shark. This is really cool because if you keep an eye on him, his little circles that go around, those white circles, will glow fluorescent at night. And you can see in one tiny piece of this clip where they're going to glow fluorescent green. And it's a really cool thing that Wabigon sharks do when they are under fluorescent light. So if you're on a night dive and you see one of these and you do have a fluorescent light with you, give it a go. It's pretty cool to see. And here he goes. There was the little flash of green. Now, as you may know, Mark and I love a puffer fish. This guy was accompanying a wabigon, so this little puffer fish was found in a little tiny cave right above this wabigon shark. They're a super calm type of shark, so they don't care when things are around them. Mark's just showing us the tail and then spanning back up towards our little puffer fish friend in the hole. He's also got a little tiny anemone fish on video. We're playing around with the macro lens a little bit, so let us know how you like the footage from the macro and whether it's worthwhile using it. We've used it for a couple clips in this video of some of the sharks, some of the anemones, and of that little nudibranch you saw earlier. The majority of the video is just on the regular GoPro 11, and the rest of it is on that little macro lens. Now what Mark's saying here is listen out for the whales. What he doesn't realize is he can't actually hear the whales on his footage, but there were whales in the background and that was our signal for listen out for the whales, which is pretty cool because right now they're on their migration from Antarctica all the way up to Cairns and then da back down to Antarctica where they're having young up in Cairns because they're born without blubber. So the whales need to develop some blubber before they go down to the cold waters in Antarctica and we can hear them as they pass by Cook Island. We didn't see any underwater. We did see a couple on the surface, which was really cool, but hopefully this is going to be the year where we've got whales underwater on a dive and hopefully you'll see that coming up on the channel soon. But for now, we'll stick with the turtles. We came across this little turtle guy. Now he was really cool because he let us stay really close and it was really beautiful with the rays of light up in the shallows and he would just get cleaned by the little fish around and about. The damselfish kept attacking him, poor thing. I always say the damselfish are the most aggressive fish on the reef. Despite them doing absolutely no harm to anything that they bite, they will continuously bite you. Now when we came to this turtle, you can see that his shell's in pretty bad condition. Got lots of algae, lots of barnacles on him. And also one of his fins wasn't working. 
which you'll see me signaling later. So he stuck about. He would actually fin himself in circles because one fin didn't work. It was pretty sad to see, but that's a circle of life. Not too sure what happened to this little turtle. Still really cute to look at and still very friendly. Here's my signal. He's got a little problem with his arm. And by arm, I meant fin. And I wasn't sure if Mark was getting what I was saying. So I told him about four times. And then he came to the surface and he told me, Holly, I got it the first time. I don't know why you kept telling me. But here I go telling him again, look, his fin has a problem. It's not working. And you can see he's not moving it at all. But we hung out with him for a little bit just at the end of our dive here. It was about 50 minutes into the dive at this point. We were all pretty chilly, so we weren't moving too much. So we figured why not just hang out with this turtle before we come up for the end of the dive. Now I'm going to leave it here. Leave the rest of the dive for you guys to watch. A couple of little turtles, things like that coming up later. Trying to be trying to stay dry all day that you do that to. Cold. Now is bring you guys in over here, drop you off at the...